Well, the plan to build recreational facilities in state parks across Florida appears to be dead, at least for this year. After intense pressure from the public and bipartisan pushback, the governor said today that the plans for pickleball courts, lodges, and even a golf course may not be revived. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is in the newsroom now with what the governor had to say about the projects that included parks in Hillsborough and Pinellas counties, Evan. Yeah, Allie, the governor said today that the state would follow the wishes of the public after the plans were hit for their potential impact on the environment, animal habitats, and the serene feeling that state parks provide. He also said he didn't know about them until they were leaked to the press. After days of emotional protests, the governor tried to quiet speculation that state parks might become places for pickleball. A lot of that stuff was just half-baked and it was not ready for prime time. At least for now. They're not doing anything this year. They're going to go back and basically listen. If they listen to protesters who were at Honeymoon Island State Park on Tuesday, Save our parks. there won't ever be pickleball courts at that state park or disc golf at Hillsborough River State Park or a 350-room lodge at Anastasia State Park in St. Johns County, or a golf course at Dickinson State Park in Martin County. The governor insisted Wednesday that he was not aware of the plans until they were leaked, which he called a politically motivated hit. Here's the thing. I'd rather not spend any money on this, right? I mean, if people don't want improvements, then don't do it. If there does need to be improvements, we're not going to take away any green space. You know, we're going to, we have an existing footprint. The Sierra Club, which spearheaded statewide protests on Tuesday, the day originally slated for public meetings about the plans, doesn't take the governor's backpedal at face value. They ask how detached his office could have been, given there were already public meetings scheduled and that the original intention was to reschedule them. It's not, um, fully scrapped until it's made very clear by DeSantis that the plan is canceled. Um, so we're going to continue to be very vigilant and also provide oversight. Organizers say the dust up over the parks was as striking of a political fight as Florida has seen in recent memory, given it galvanized both Democratic and Republican elected officials against the proposals. Protecting our environment, our quality of life, um, the special places that um, Floridians uh, go to for recreational opportunities um, to be outdoors. Um, really is the thing that um, cuts across um, the political divide. The state DEP had said that they believed that there was a large number of people who would be interested in those amenities like pickleball courts and camping cabins, but those supporters never materialized, at least not publicly. The DEP has not responded to our request for comment since we began asking three days ago, Allie. Okay, Evan Axelbank live in our newsroom tonight. Evan, thanks.